What's up, guys? So, just figured I'd give you guys like a little update. I haven't made a video. Been really busy. I've actually got a ton of footage. So I've got uh, footage on the Bibster. I've got footage from the house and the new shop. I've got some Fronius videos I've done. I've got a ton of footage. I just haven't had time to sit down and edit. So I figured too, I'd do a live, live video. Wish y'all a Merry Christmas. Holla, what up? Merry Christmas. Just figured I'd do a little live, live session from the shop real quick. Uh, kind of give you a couple little updates too. What up, buddy? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. Um, hope y'all have big plans for the new year. Safe, safe plans for the new year. When you move into the new shop very soon. Like I said at the very beginning of this video, I have some tons of footage of the new house, new shop. The house will probably be done in a week or two. Got a bunch of footage on the Bibster that uh, I need to update you guys on. I just haven't had time to edit. That's the problem. Probably this week. I should drop a couple videos this week that you guys should see. Anyway, I just figured why not just go live. Live from the shop. Show you guys a couple updates. One, Kill Fab. So, got some new Kill Fab hats. These are uh, trucker style. These are the Richardson 112s, if you guys are familiar. And uh, got it in gray and black, and I've got it in black and black with white, the white Kill Fab logo. And I got a couple pink ones. So, anyway, good to see everybody. Glad you, uh, glad you come hang out. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Um, real quick updates Bibster is pretty bare so most bare metal most of it's bare metal about 90% got it all stripped Let's see. so it's all pretty stripped um, two bender I have a uh, JD squared I believe or maybe it's the Pro Tools 105. I think they're pretty much the same thing. Anyway, Bibster is stripped. Got it, everything pretty stripped. Cleaned up. All the tracks. Window tracks are stripped. Um, some of it I didn't do because I'm going to cut it out. Like all this will be cut out. Going to cut all the front out. Tried to get every nook and cranny. I still got a lot of work to do, but... Close, closer. And then, um, been working on some panels. So I got this panel done over here, all bead rolled. Uh, let's see if I can give you a, so you can see the one on the right is, hasn't been scuffed, uh, like the one on the left has, but those are done. Advice on cutting a roof for a cage. I wouldn't cut the roof. Unless he had to. Usually what I do, uh, usually what I do under cages is I'll cut holes in the floor and then drop the whole cage, like tack everything together, drop it through the floor, weld all the tops, and then you push it back up, slide your plates underneath it, and you're ready to go. Anyway, back to the updates. So I got this panel done, got all the Zeus fastener in, got all the plates underneath this done. I didn't film any of it because you guys have already seen this on the other side, just trying to get caught up so uh we can get the body back on this thing um and start basically making the panels that are going to attach it going to start on the stuff that's going to go over the radiator in the back pretty soon probably start working on some of the seat stuff so yeah what else what other updates i got got some a couple more fronius videos coming so what you haven't seen from fronius yet is the Trans Steel 2700. So I've done a video on this one, which is the 2200. Got to do the Trans Steel 2700 and then the battery powered, uh, the AccuPocket, which is a battery powered TIG stick machine, which is pretty cool too. So those will be coming. It'll be a while. Those will be next year sometime. But I'm going to go ahead and film them now. All right, I'll answer a couple questions. Let's see what we got. I don't really, uh, gonna be one fast machine. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I just want to cruise it. That's my that's my goal. Let's see. Let's 
Um, these, the Kill Fab hats, they're just, they're, I mean, they make, they're whatever you want. They're not really, a, it's not a flat bill at all, but I mean, I guess you can flatten it out if you want. But this is more of like a trucker style. I haven't done these yet. I've always done the flex fits. I always flatten the bills out just because I like them like that. But this is, um, this is a Richardson 112. So if you're familiar with the Richardsons, they're great hats. I've got a bunch of them. Uh, it's all embroidered. And like I said, the gray and black with the black Kill Fab logo. And then I've got black on black with a white Kill Fab logo. You'll see. I'll do more posts about it soon. Probably after the new year. I'll get them up on the site. I've only got a couple. I think I got maybe like 20 of these and 30 of the black on blacks and then only a couple of the pinks so but anyway I figured I'd do something a little different not everybody's into the flex fit flat bill and uh, depending on the moon I'm, mood I'm in I kinda change it up to myself so type of car let's see here what's up Hey, Christmas to everybody if you just joined all the kill fab hats let's see uh, 240 SX, it's probably, oh, let's see here, hello from the UK, what state are you in, I'm in South Carolina, meet and greet, yes, at some point I'd love to do meet and greet, um, just so crazy right now, man, I just, I can't hardly, I don't have hardly have time to put up videos, let alone try to schedule something or plan something or, or even get out of the, out of the shop, I just really want to get everything done so I can get out of this shop and into the new one. Twenty minutes away. Where you at? Probably like what? Spartanburg, Greenville, through South Carolina. Black Pearl, uh, awesome. The Pearl's awesome. Got got another C10 build in the works, probably, uh, or an F100. Looking at both. Gonna do one of those. So if you're a C10 guy or truck guy, I'm gonna do another one of those. And I also got another project too that I haven't really announced. Um, it's not. 100% set in stone just yet. I guess I can go ahead and tell you about it. Uh, so it's going to be, maybe I've said something about it before in the past. It's going to be a Mercedes. Going to do a Mercedes build. Um, probably more of like a beater build. Low budget. Something to just beat on. You know, we can take it drifting. We can take it to the road course. We can take it to the drag strip. Um, and not have to really care about how it looks gonna probably be an LS swap so I know I do a lot of Ford stuff for all you Chevy guys gonna do an LS swap in that one turbo um, yeah just you know something to have fun with I have not tried the sir flat wings gonna probably make some for the new table and I haven't really shown you that yet but I've got a new 4x8 so this table here is uh, Sir flat table is three by four, I think is what it is. And I've got a four by eight. I think it's three by four. Take it. So let's see. I think I can measure this thing one handed. So yeah, four by, yeah, so this is three by four. I've got a four by eight. I've already got it. It's over at the new shop. It's still on a pallet. Haven't put it together though. It's just sitting there waiting on me. Um, still waiting on power at the new shop. It's all in, all the power's in. I just haven't got a meter hung yet. So anyway, I'll probably, back to what I was getting at, I'll probably build some, wing style fixtures myself that will come off the front and off the back um i kind of want to use that thing as a chassis table for some other builds that i want to do and um the wings that i make that come off of it will basically mock up the front and rear suspension and then i'll build the chassis on the table itself so let's see shout out from anderson right on uh yeah anderson's like 20 minutes for me any splitters or diffusers? Time? No, I haven't. Uh, did some stuff. Actually, I didn't have anything to do that. I went and filmed Jeb, uh, who had done some stuff like that. So, may do a little bit of that on the Bibster, not necessarily for function, but 
you know, it's, I want to modernize it. It is a modern hot rod, so I kind of want to modernize it the best I can. So, I don't know. We'll see. Here we had you. Oh, let's see. Shout out from Maryland. So, any questions? You guys got any questions? I mean, I don't have, other than just a little bit of stuff I've done in the shop. When I stripped the bibster, it took me, or the body of the bibster, I spent like a whole day. I filmed a little bit of it, and I ended up just going with, um, some of that aircraft paint remover uh, versus blasting it. I was going to blast it, but it's been the weather sucked out here, so I didn't feel like it was going to be easy for me to get it somewhere or to get it back or for them to come out here and do it. Plus, uh, setting it up and money, I was like, you know what? I'll just try to strip it myself, and it actually turned out pretty good. Shout out from Spartanburg. Been up there before up to the Westgate Mall. Been up there once or twice. Um, Bisbane, 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 Australia. I got, a lot of, I got a lot of guys that follow me from Australia. I'd love to make that trip one day. That'd be cool. Carbon fiber vids, yes, a ton. I've kind of mentioned it before. Side panels on that thing and the intake and some other stuff I got lined up. But yes, got a ton of carbon stuff coming. link doesn't work yeah you know the thing is about that I've had other people say that there's no pumps actually I'll go look again see if I can figure that out um, but there's not there wasn't any pumps for sale and so that's why I didn't really fool with it I'll go look at it again though Merry Christmas to everybody hey from the UK so bot body gonna look like custom um, Best way to describe it is maybe like a 32 Ford Coupe style-ish. Um, basically like what you see and then I'll just kind of mold the back half to make it look very similar to like a 32 maybe. So it'll kind of come off. It'll probably stop before the rear wheels end. It probably won't even wrap all the way down and around. I don't know. It probably won't look anything like a 32. It's going to look like, I don't know. <laughs> you have to stay tuned. Soon, we'll start doing that stuff soon. Gotta order some sheet metal, but uh, should get to that pretty soon. New Mexico in the house. Sitting at the bar watching you stream. Fabrication series. Merry Christmas, buddy. What else we got? Anything else? I need a hat. I can make it happen, Brian. Hope to, uh, yeah, I hope it, hope it turns out pretty mean. That's kind of, that's kind of what I'm after. Um, shouldn't be long. We should start rock and rolling on this thing. Start doing some little wiring, get, maybe get the engine fired up. Uh, should start coming together pretty fast. Seven oh two in the house. Merry Christmas. All right, guys. This week. Should have house shop update. Um, more shop than house, but house is almost done, so I figured might as well show that to you guys. Um, gonna walk you through the shop. We'll look at the table, some electrical, that sort of stuff. And then uh, probably have a bibster update this week. Some of the stuff I've done as far as stripping the body, maybe some of the panels. What else do I have? Got some other footage too that, I don't know, I said wait and see. Probably Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday, they'll, they'll drop. And then uh, probably won't see you guys again until the new year. So, anyway, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys this week.